Hi folks, this is Max from HighOnAndroid.com where we get high on Android every day. Anyway, today I'm going to show you how to access the US Play Store uh, if you're outside the US. And let me show you that I'm here uh, near Chiang Mai, Thailand. Um, yeah, somewhere in Asia right now. And uh, you can see my GPS is on and uh, that's where I'm at. Um, so I've got he I got here in my Play Store. It wouldn't let me download uh, U.S. apps, uh, U.S.-based apps such as Pandora, um, Google Voice. I need to check my voicemail and uh, Netflix. You know some of my favorite apps. Um, so I had to find a way to be able to access the U.S. Play Store. And also this also can help you install uh, Google Wallet, which I've also got it working on most of my phones now. Um, so let me show you how to do that. Uh, so let me go ahead and go to Play Store and uh, let me search for Pandora and you'll see that I can't download Pandora or if I go search for voice Google Voice I can't download it now one of the ways to get around it is if you're traveling from the US to other countries um, you'll be fine just download the app before you go or use titanium backup app uh, to back up all of your apps then when you install a custom ROM outside the US you can simply restore all of your apps but what if you forget or maybe you just live outside the US whatever the reason is um, here's how to you know do it uh, what you'll need is first of all uh, what you'll need is uh, either uh, some kind of SSH tunnel or VPN um, I won't have instructions on VPN because I don't use VPN but uh, if you use SSH tunnel um, you can download this app called SH, SSH Tunnel. Um, basically, what VPN, SSH uh, Tunnel, both of these apps do is they let you basically um, use an IP, a US IP uh, of your computer, of a server, uh, whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up. I actually have full instructions on SSH Tunnel app. I'll have a link to that if you want to use that. If you want to use a VPN, um, you can go ahead and sign up for like a VPN service in the US and uh, download a VPN app and set that up. That's outside this tutorial, but I'll let you do that first. So let me go ahead and set my SSH tunnel up real quick. So I've got my SSH tunnel app uh, set up here now, or if you're using VPN app, um, I've got it set up so it's going to use one of my web servers, which is based in the US. Um, some some of the important options uh, you might have to enable Sox proxy uh, if you have it an option for that and also the most important is global proxy uh, what this does is basically makes all of your apps go through um, your VPN or your web server or whatever so when you when you um, when you actually log into the Play Store it'll it'll give the Play Store to Google uh, your US IP so you have to somehow fool Google Play Store that uh, your IP is coming from the US that's one of the requirements and as you can see I've got it connected um, so when I go to what is my IP uh, my IP dot com it will show me a US IP alright so if you can get to that point use VPN or SSH tunnel I know VPN is more a uh, favorite option um, you can use that but this is basically my server address for my US uh, web server so if you got that sc squared away um, Play Store will see your IP address but uh, that's not all you'll have to um, also when you use a uh, SIM card from another country the SIM card will have identification of uh, what country you're at so you'll have to change that uh, emulate that sim reference number to a US based carrier um, to do that you'll need to download uh, market access alright so type market access mod APK uh, XDA like that and I'll also have links to this if you want it uh, let me show you that's what I typed alright and uh, you you will be able to get um, you'll be able to get the XDA thread where you can download it is that one uh, marketaccess.apk and there's also another app um, 
similar to it. I've tried that one. You can use that one too. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and download that app. And actually, you can t turn the uh, your VPN or SSH tunnel off because it's going to slow down your uh, internet while you're doing it. Uh, let me reload this page, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and download the marketaccess.apk. All right, and uh, this will allow me to change. Um, Okay, I'm going to go ahead and open it. Uh, open it and install Market Access. All right, go ahead and open. And make sure you grant. And of course, you'll need a rooted Android device. If you don't have an Android, a rooted Android device is not going to work. Um, you can back up your current value if you want. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go to Providers. Um, I'm going to choose T-Mobile US. So it will emulate T-Mobile uh, SIM there. All right, and this won't affect your phone calls or anything. It's just going to affect uh, how Google Play Store sees. Um, so you have that. Now there's one more thing you got to do. Um, go to settings, and uh, you got to make sure uh, Play Store doesn't see your location in any way or form or fashion. So I'm going to turn off all my GPS services here, location student services. Now that's not all. Google also has a separate location serv uh, service for Google. Uh, apps. So go to Google here and uh, go to location settings and make sure location access for your phone is off uh, in the Google settings here too. Some some ROMs like AOKP ROMs or AO, any AOSP ROMs, this will have those be a separate setting. So go ahead and do those things. So first thing, you need SSH tunnel or VPN uh, running. So I'm going to go ahead and run it. All right. And also, second thing, you'll need the market access to uh, change the uh, your SIM country to a U.S. carrier. So I switched to uh, T-Mobile. Third, you'll have to turn off all of your location services just in case. And next, what you're going to do is go to Settings, and then go to Application Manager or Apps. Uh, open up your Google Play Store and uh, clear data. And what this will do is uh, you know, clear the data on the Play Store. So when you open it up, it's going to recheck your IP. Um, it's going to check your SIM location, and also it's going to check your GPS location. So we've got it all. So Play Store thinks we're in the U.S. So I'm going to go ahead and force stop. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and open up Play Store, and you should be able to get a new window pop up. Um, there you go. Say accept. And boom shakalaka, you're in uh, the US Play Store. So I'm going to go ahead and download my favorite apps Pandora. And I uh, should be able to download it now. So I'm going to go ahead and download Play Store, uh, Pandora. And I'm going to go search for Google Voice. And I should be able to download it. Now I should be able to access all my. Uh, all my emails here and once you signed in to the uh, Play Store it's not gonna actually check until uh, the next reboot so you can actually turn off your VPN or SSH tunnel you don't have to have it on and you can you know turn on everything else um, because you just need to do it uh, once per boot all right and there we go I've got Google Voice downloading installing and I uh, should be yeah, it's. Uh, I should have waited for the SSH, to, because I I turned off SSH and it's kind of um, trying to download. Well, it downloaded here. <clears throat> so there you go. There you have it. Um, now you can go ahead and download all of your favorite US apps, and also there's uh, ways to tweak this so you can download like Verizon only apps or uh, Sprint apps. What you can do is go to um, Market Access. And then go to custom, and if you uh, if you Google like Verizon uh, sim, numeric SIM number, then you you can get the value for it. Uh, for example, Sprint is three one zero one two zero. If you put that, you you'll be able to get extra Sprint apps that doesn't show show on the Play Store. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Now you can go ahead and download all of your favorite 
uh, US apps and this works on the latest Play Store um, some of the older hacks out there doesn't support the latest that's why I made this uh, tutorial um, I'm on market 3.10.10 which is the latest one as of this video and I'm downloading US apps anyway um, check it out and also I have a guide uh, on how to get Google Wallet working on any rooted Android device uh, also on my other channel Zetomax go check that out it's kind of related with this one you'll use a uh, market access um, and uh, do some things to you know fool the Play Store to think and the wallet uh, to think you're outside you're in the US anyway thanks you guys for watching this video as always uh, if you like this video don't forget to hit that like button here subscribe button down there and share this with your friends on Twitter Facebook or Google Plus and stay high on Android folks and uh, now you can download any US apps uh, anywhere in the world. And I'll see you guys later. Uh.